Towering above Houston's ever-evolving skyline, a bold new landmark is taking shape, one that will transform the very flow of movement, commerce, and design across the Gulf Coast. Along the bustling Beltway 8 Highway, construction is underway on one of Texas's most ambitious infrastructure projects, a twin-span cable-stayed bridge designed to carry eight lanes of high-speed traffic above one of the world's busiest petrochemical waterways. This isn't just another upgrade, it's a complete reimagining, replacing an aging 1982 structure that, for decades, strained under the weight of modern freight, constant congestion, and growing safety concerns. Now, that past is being left behind, with soaring pylons, expanded vertical clearance for supertankers, and resilience engineered to last for generations. This new bridge redefines what infrastructure means in 21st century America. Today, let's delve into the $1.3 billion New Zam Houston Ship Channel Bridge. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. The Sam Houston Tollway, a major controlled access highway and part of Houston's expansive Beltway 8 loop, the city's outermost highway belt was developed to relieve inner city congestion and connect the sprawling suburbs encircling the metropolitan area. As Houston's population exploded in the late 20th century, the tollway became a lifeline for commuters and freight carriers alike. A critical link in this loop was the original Sam Houston Ship Channel Bridge, completed in 1982, a concrete box girder bridge built with hollow, rectangular beams for added strength and stability. Carrying four narrow lanes of traffic over one of the busiest industrial waterways in the world. For years, the bridge held up under increasing pressure. But over time, it became clear the structure was aging poorly. It lacked shoulders for breakdowns, creating a serious safety hazard. Its limited width caused daily traffic bottlenecks while the low vertical clearance restricted the movement of larger vessels navigating the ship channel below. Structural fatigue and increased vehicle loads compounded the risks. The bridge was no longer capable of supporting the city's growth or the global shipping demands flowing beneath it. The solution wasn't just to fix the bridge, it was to rethink it entirely. Houston needed a new crossing that could withstand the future, not just patch up the past. Thus, the new bridge was born. The new Sam Houston Ship Channel Bridge is a full-scale replacement of the original 1982 bridge, a complete redesign built to meet the demands of modern Houston. Rather than retrofitting the aging structure, the decision was made to construct a brand new bridge that would double traffic capacity and greatly improve safety and efficiency along the Sam Houston Tollway. Each of the two spans will carry four lanes of traffic with full emergency shoulders, totaling eight lanes, directly addressing congestion and supporting the region's growing freight and commuter needs. With a main span of 1,320 feet and 514 foot tall pylons, the new bridge will be the tallest cable stayed structure in Texas and among the tallest in the US. It also offers a vertical clearance of 187 feet enabling smooth passage for massive vessels traveling the Houston Ship Channel. The project was initially designed by FIG Bridge Group, but after major structural flaws were discovered in their concept, in response, a new design effort was launched, now led by Sistra IBT, with HDR Engineering providing technical support and Cowie North America overseeing engineering review and quality control. The overall project is being delivered by Ship Channel Constructors under the leadership of the Harris County Toll Road Authority. Beyond the bridge itself, the wider initiative includes the reconstruction of key tollway infrastructure, on-ramps, frontage roads, and interchanges, ensuring full integration with the Beltway 8 corridor and future-proofing Houston's regional mobility. The new Sam Houston Ship Channel Bridge is engineered as a twin-span cable-stayed structure, utilizing over 1,100 precast concrete box girder segments, each weighing around 135 tons. These segments form the main roadway deck and are supported by 514-foot-tall reinforced concrete pylons, the tallest of their kind in Texas, 
The deck is post-tensioned to maintain structural cohesion under heavy loads, while stay cables anchored to the pylons provide the tensile strength needed to suspend and stabilize the 1,320-foot mainspan. Beneath the surface, the pylons are anchored by deep-drilled shafts reaching depths of up to 240 feet, ensuring a stable foundation in Houston's geotechnically challenging soils. This substructure offers resilience against both seismic forces and long-term settlement. Construction follows a balanced cantilever method, where segments are placed symmetrically on either side of each pylon to maintain structural balance. Using specialized gantries, each segment is lifted, aligned, and precisely tensioned. This technique eliminates the need for false work in the shipping lane, allowing maritime traffic to continue uninterrupted. The result is a high-performance bridge designed to endure constant vibration, intense loading, and environmental exposure in one of America's busiest industrial corridors. The new Sam Houston Ship Channel Bridge stands out as a billion-dollar megaproject financed entirely without federal or taxpayer dollars. The entire $1.3 billion cost is being funded by the Harris County Toll Road Authority through toll revenues and revenue bonds, making it a self-sustained initiative powered by users of the tollway system. This approach allows full local control over design, construction, and delivery, without the delays or constraints of relying on federal infrastructure programs. Construction began in June 2018, with early work focused on deep foundations and substructure development. However, in 2020, the project encountered a major setback when serious flaws were discovered in the original design by FIG Bridge Group. Afterwards, the bridge underwent a comprehensive redesign, adding nearly $300 million in additional costs and pushing the schedule back several years. Following the redesign, Work resumed on the southbound span, which is now expected to open by late 2025. Afterward, the aging existing bridge will be demolished to make way for the northbound span, scheduled to begin construction in 2026 and reach completion by 2028. Once both spans are operational, the bridge will mark the full transformation of one of Houston's most vital transportation arteries. The new Sam Houston Ship Channel Bridge has faced serious setbacks that reshaped its timeline, budget, and public perception. In 2020, Cowie North America's Independent Review uncovered 21 major structural flaws in the original FIG Bridge Group design. Most notably, issues with the curved pylon legs and inadequate load path redundancy. These echoed the same engineering errors tied to FIG's 2018 Florida Pedestrian Bridge collapse and were similarly cited in their removal from the Texas New Harbor Bridge project. As a result, Harris County removed FIG from the project, handing engineering oversight to Cowie. Construction was paused for months, especially on the pylons, and several completed sections had to be demolished. The redesign added hundreds of millions to the budget and delayed the project significantly, pushing the southbound span's opening to late 2025 and the northbound span to 2027 or 2028. These delays fueled public frustration, drew media scrutiny, and sparked calls for stronger oversight and independent peer review in megaprojects. Ultimately, the bridge's turbulent redesign has become a cautionary tale in balancing engineering ambition with safety and accountability, and a stark reminder that cutting corners on oversight can have high costs. Despite early construction setbacks, budget overruns, and delays, the new Sam Houston Ship Channel Bridge project is now moving forward steadily. Once complete, the bridge will deliver wide-ranging benefits that go far beyond Houston's skyline. Doubling the capacity of its 1982 predecessor, the eight-lane design eases congestion in one of the region's busiest freight and commuter corridors. Full-width shoulders improve safety by enabling emergency stops and faster incident response. With a 187-foot vertical clearance, the bridge also accommodates larger vessels navigating the globally vital Houston Ship Channel, boosting port efficiency and reinforcing Houston's role as a logistics powerhouse. Its cable-stayed structure, precast concrete segments, and deep-drilled foundations ensure durability under industrial loads, environmental stress, and shifting soils 
reducing long-term maintenance. Importantly, this mega project is fully self-funded through local toll revenue, with no taxpayer dollars involved. The bridge sets a precedent for regional investment and stands as a landmark built not just for today's demands, but for future generations. The new Sam Houston Ship Channel Bridge is a symbol of what happens when a city chooses to think big, build smarter, and invest in its future. From doubling traffic capacity to ensuring safe maritime navigation, this bridge is set to redefine how Houston moves, trades, and grows. But as with any mega project, it hasn't come without cost or controversy. Design flaws, budget overruns, and timeline delays have raised important questions about oversight and accountability in public infrastructure. Still, what's being built now is stronger, safer, and better suited for the demands of the next century. It's a towering feat of modern engineering that replaces risk with resilience and congestion with connectivity. Yet the question remains, will this bridge ultimately deliver on its $1.3 billion promise? Or will history look back on it as a costly misstep? What are your thoughts on this mega project? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.